can literally be expressing love to someone and because it's not the way that they understand love uh-huh. or can receive or speak love it's it's almost empty so we're finally here guys and there's a lot happening look at this this is the corn maze we're gonna do that later but right now we're on our way to do some pumpkin bowling Fato, you ready to lose Nah. Let's set this up. She gonna lose, man. Come on. Hey, make sure I don't leave my back here, baby. You already, you already know we're competitive, so we're gonna see who wins. <laughs> Sunflowers. Gonna get busy. So crazy. This is like yeah. a jungle of sunflowers. It's amazing. I've never been anything like this. It smells so fragrant. Mm -hmm. They got like couches and stuff in here so you can take pictures. It's so magical. It is. <laughs> I'm scared to go in there. There's so many bugs. Oh my god, the bugs. Oh. I've got a sunflower for my son. Oh, is there any bugs on it? No, let me see, let me see. Uh, <laughs> no bugs, no bugs. Okay, clear. Oh my God, it's so itchy, what is that? <laughs> it was baby, here, take it. <laughs> take it back. <laughs> uh. Monta's been making it a point to make sure that she's taking me outside to get some sunlight, vitamin D to make sure that I'm exercising and moving around. That he's awake, man, cause he likes to sleep a ton. I've been so tired, so fatigued. No, My but body is chemo, so weak. Chemo's chemo really, no joke. Yeah. I know we may talk about it like nonchalantly, but your body is going through war it's right no now. It's no joke, baby. So, you we know, gotta keep fighting. You gotta dig deep. You can't let it, you can't let cancer win. Absolutely. You know, Life can, wins. cancer, cancer isn't Life winning. Life wins, okay. Life always wins, no matter what. And that's what today was and, about. And that's, no, yeah. And I feel like a winner. And I feel like a, I'm a winner because of Fanta. Dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic. Fanta loves me in the exact way that I need love. You know? Come on, I'm, I'm driving. I can't to, be teary. Right? Oh, right? Yeah. Don't, yeah, please don't get teary eyed, guys. <laughs> we need your eyes for on the road. Yo, this person texting and driving over there. Danger. Right? Danger. <laughs> And it's so interesting because you love me the same, the exact way I need to be loved too, baby. I know it wasn't always like that. We had to learn. No, we had to learn. Yeah. We were not on the same page, but for some reason we still were in love. Yeah. But we didn't speak the same language. We didn't. We didn't speak. I mean, granted, we didn't even know that there were even such a thing as love languages when we first yeah. started dating. Yeah. What's your love language? All right. Well, there are five love languages. Okay. My love languages are physical touch my second love language i would say is words of affirmation what are your love languages i definitely love acts of service right yeah and what is it like gift giving like um, yes. physical fanta loves gift giving i don't really love and her birthday is coming Actually. up so i can't miss that <laughs> I Guys, my birthday kids. is next week, October 29th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not a, I like affirmations too, even though I don't always They're not as effective. Believe, yeah, they don't, I don't really believe them. I'm a little hard on myself. <laughs> but what's the other love language this week? So we have words of affirmation, we have gift giving, physical touch. Acts of service. Acts of service. And There's a fifth one. Quality time. Oh yeah. Quality time. I like that too. But no, yeah. we don't Everything. have any. We don't have any trouble with quality time. I think that's why it was on the list because we love we spending always, quality yeah. time together. We always spend quality. Time every together. moment. We every just moment spend we quality spend time together. together. Yeah. yeah, we're always together. Absolutely. Love yeah. languages. It really took us a while to learn what that was. Because I remember before physical touch was big on you, and I know I used to always hurt you because growing up, I just I don't know. I was just I've always been very modest. Like I'm very modest shy person so like physical touch that was really something difficult for me to you know to express yeah to somebody but it's like i love you you know like physical of touch course. is a part of that but i don't know it just maybe me growing up and 
coming into my womanhood and just wanting to love you better, you know? That made me step out of my shell. No, definitely. Bit. And I would say even a part of it could just be how when we first started dating, we mm -hmm. were we were pretty much a secret from, you know, yeah. her family, a little bit from my family at first, you know, so yeah. we couldn't even express ourselves publicly to yeah, people. Exactly. So if you guys haven't seen I kept my boyfriend a secret for five years, go check that out. So yeah. it was it was it was rough for us in the it beginning. Was, like no was. one knew that we even liked each other. Oh. So physical touch was really hard to express. So wow, you really stuck it out. I did maybe. Even though you weren't getting nothing. Nothing, nothing. Not, not a dime. Wow. Guys, my not personality a, is gold. Not a booty nothing. <laughs> not a booty nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How important would you say are love languages in a relationship? I think it's important because it can be easy to just worry about your own, your own personal love language and to also just think that the other person's love language is the same as yours. And so you might That's think true. that you're really loving this person, you know? But they're not but hearing they're not reciprocating. Yeah. It. And it's because actually you're speaking a different language from that person. So once you get on the same get one yeah. exactly then that love can really grow to an exponential point and then also you can develop other love languages and ways to love each other because you can learn to love each other in the way that you guys in the way that you want to be loved and also teach that person how to be loved in different ways i don't know if that makes any sense Vanta yeah. makes a great point i think when we hear love languages the key word is language yeah because it's like when we go traveling we travel to another country a foreign country like bali or you know any random country where they speak a different language you know if you don't speak the language that they speak it's frustrating it's frustrating you can speak english to them at any tone any volume any way that you want to but if they don't understand you it they makes can't it help hard, you. yeah. You exactly. Know? They can't help you. And it's the same way with love languages. You can literally be expressing love to someone. And because it's not the way that they understand love yeah. or can receive or speak love, it's it's almost empty. And you know, it's not even their fault. You can't even be mad at the person for not yeah. understanding. They're trying. Yeah, you know, they are trying. It's just they haven't learned. The language yeah. exactly that goes back to when we started and us speaking a different love language because we came from two different households where love was different like in my household you know african muslim household we grew up we never really said i love you to each other we never hugged or showed like affection i never saw my parents kiss or anything like that so to me i didn't feel like that's also why physical touch was so hard for me because it's Affection is not something I really saw a lot growing up versus you in your home Love was a different yeah. Language, you know from mine. Language. Like how was your family growing up? Like how was how did you perceive love in your well, childhood? Even, even growing up in my childhood, I'm Haitian mm -hmm. It was more so recently that I started even saying I love you to like my mom and that she started saying it to me mm -hmm. But my mom always still showed love in a very motherly way and I, think, yeah. and I think the way she shows me love, showed me love growing up, is how I still kind of perceive love. And that's words of affirmation. But I had a praying mom. She was always praying for me. I had a mom that was always giving me food. So, like, I know it's not <laughs> Yo, love language. Right now, but... like, more than ever. Like, I know if I want this boy to love me to another level, all I got to do is cook for him. It's that's so it. easy. Just keep his belly full. I'm good. That's it. <laughs> I think that really goes down to physical touch and it can even go down in acts of service but I think because we both experienced love in different ways growing up mm -hmm. learning to love each other was very interesting yeah it was kind of a battle yeah. you know and we almost gave up a few times no yeah yeah there was it gets frustrating it does get frustrating especially like those times when we were in college getting to know ourselves. It was frustrating. We were really ready to call the quits on each other, but I'm so proud that we were... Stuck with it. Yeah, we just wanted to love each other better, so we made it a conscious effort to learn each other's love language. I think that's when we discovered love languages because yeah. we were trying to figure out what is going on. I love you, but I don't understand why I'm not feeling love the way I want to feel love. Mm -hmm. And, and it's like, yeah. I love you, how come you're not seeing that I love yeah. you? Yeah. 
that's another you know? thing. Why don't you see that I love you? You know, yeah. it's like how many times am I gonna tell you I love you, but like, do you even believe it? Like, yeah. <laughs> and I think sometimes people might fall into the trap of showing love the way that they feel love, mm-hmm. but it's which not makes always, sense. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah, it's not always effective. Mm-hmm. And I can only imagine when we have kids, we're gonna have to figure out how to show them we love them in a way that they understand. Uh-huh. So we're going to have to get to know them right? first. Then when we get to know them, we got to we gotta try the different love languages on them. For real, because <laughs> it may not be words of affirmation. It may be quality time. You it know? may be gifts. Yeah. And Maybe gonna... they need to be hugged. Exactly. Yeah, touch. exactly. I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for everything that I have in life. I'm grateful for Fanta, for Ceci. She's at home right now. She's going to see a sunflower for the first time today. (laughs) But yeah, guys, so today has been so fun, so magical. Magical. Full of so much love. And now we're on our way home. A nice, easy drive. Absolutely. (laughs) Until next, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Until next time, guys. Until next time, guys. Stay. Stay. That's that's horrible. What's going on, babe? Baby, baby, chemo brain. I know. (laughs) What? Until next time, guys. Stay tuned. All right, cut and print. Beautiful guys. Dynamite. You know. You don't need no other body. Hey. You don't need no other body. Hey. Hey. You feel my sunflower you like it <laughs> okay it's just a plant <laughs>